In this presentation, we will record investment activity for the month of February, recording the increases and decreases to the market value of the investments and increasing net income and other income as we do so within our QuickBooks personal file. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. We can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're now going to go to the balance sheet by going to the reports drop down, company and financial, down to the balance sheet standard, changing the format from the customized reports to 010120 to 123120. Going to change the fonts and numbers while we are here fonts and numbers making the size up to 11 and okay yes and okay this is what we have so far we're, we entered information for the end of january now we're going to say it's the end of february and we're going to enter the financial statement from our our uh, statement our investment statement for february here is our investment statement so we currently have, if we group all these together, we've got the 18,000 in the investment statement for uh, the cost and the 29,458 for market value. We're gonna increase it and just record the market value. So we'll take whatever we have now at this point in time, which was the market value for last month, the end of January, and change it to the market value for the end of February. We'll do the same for the bonds and the investments. So to do that, we're just gonna we're going to subtract this out. We here have 29,458 minus, and we'll see what's on the books now. On the books, we've got this number, the 28,644. It went up by 814. So we'll just record that increase as we did for January, uh, and we'll do that by going to the register. Not the check register, but the register for that account. For the investment account so we'll go to the lists drop down and we'll go to the chart of accounts we'll find that investment mutual funds account double click on it here is our register we're going to go as of 022920 and we're going to have an increase of 814. the other side is going to go to that unrealized gain and loss Unrealized just means that it, we haven't we haven't uh, sold the stock yet, but we're still recording it into an income account because it's an income type account, but we put it into an other income, which is down at the bottom apparently. So other gains and losses should could put other income, but other uh, unrealized gains and losses. That's what we call it. That makes sense. So unrealized gains and losses. You may not have saw it at the bottom of the screen there, but that's it. As you start typing it in there, should be unrealized gains and losses. It should be an other income type of account and okay if we close that back out and go back to our balance sheet then there's the 29,458 and if we take a look at our statement that's the 29,458 the other side of it now is not going to equity but the income statement or the profit and loss which we can see by going to the reports drop down company and financial profit and loss standard We'll change the dates from 010120 to 123120. Let's change the font size by going to Customize Report, Fonts and Numbers. Uh, change the font to 11. OK. Yes. OK. Scrolling down to the bottom, we'll see that we have this change now to unrealized gains and losses. So it is affecting net income, but it's down at the bottom so we can still see our normal operations and then this other stuff that's at the bottom here that's probably not stuff, something that we can really budget on and then we're going to go back to the balance sheet we'll do the same for the bonds so if we go to the bonds here we see that the bonds are at three one two four so if we take that three one two four minus back to quickbooks and the bonds here are at three one two three minus three one two three and bonds don't change as much so we got a dollar pretty stable though which is nice so i might not even be worth recording but we will record it for the practice here the dollar it went up for a dollar so we're going to go to our uh lists chart of accounts we're looking for the bonds now bonds funds double clicking on it and this wants to be as of oh one actually oh two 
29.20. And we're going to increase it by a dollar. The other side go into the unrealized gains and losses again. And that's it. That's all we got for that one. So now our current balance looks good. Closing that out, closing that out, double checking. 21, 20, 31, 24, 31, 24. Now let's do the same for our IRA. So the IRA is now at 21381 minus, if we go to QuickBooks, minus the 21125. That's uh, went up by 256. So if we go to our lists again, chart of accounts, we're looking for now the IRA. Double clicking on that. We're going to say this happened on 229. It's going to be an increase of 256. And then the other side is going to go to unrealized gains and losses. Enter, enter. So there we have it now, 21381. Closing this out, closing this out, 21381. And there's the 21381. So we've got those three lined up. The other side now, go into the profit and loss. And there we have the change. It's now flipped to uh, gains and losses. If we double click on it, this is the activity for January and February for the three categories that we have so far. So this will have a lot of volatility and we can do it as often as we want. The markets are going to change every day. We might get the statements every month or quarterly and, and or do, do this monthly or quarterly. This is probably not something that, again, we can budget on. And therefore, if we do it only quarterly, then we can't really compare month to month because we're going to have to compare quarter to quarter, right? If I, if I go up here, for example, and take a look and change the date on the end for, to 02, uh, 28, 20, the end of the second month, and then we look at it by month, then we can see uh, the comparison. Well, this should be 02.29.20, and then we look at it by month. We could see the, the comparison, a big difference in, in the changes that are happening. That's what's going to happen with stocks and bonds. They'll go up and down. That's why we can't really budget on them, but it's kind of nice to see those, those changes uh, here in the other income and not let them those swings mess up kind of our normal budgeting up top. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.